Okay, so next up, we're going into SCADPAD Europe. Okay, already this one is completely different than the other one. It's, you know, fantastical, and it has a lot of great design in here, very detailed. So why don't you tell us a little bit about this pad? Inspired by the south of France, SCADPAD Europe has all of the details that really are speaking to a different sensibility in some way. So as opposed to SCADPAD North America, we have details like the rustic nature of living in the south of France. We have various details that speak to the colors and the feel of what it's like when you're in the south of France. Mm -hmm. And that's been really important for our students as well. One of the things that I really want to emphasize is the fact that this is all for students. This mm -hmm. is an educational opportunity for our students. That's the most important element about SCADPAD. We had students that came in and finally had huge breakthroughs and realizations in their own work. I'll give you an example. One of our students was an illustration major. She spent most of her time working on her illustrations, as you would imagine, focused on exactly learning her skills, mastering her craft so that she can be the best at it. When she came and lived here in SCADPAD, all of a sudden she began to realize that every single choice that a person makes, like these books, live in people's homes. Mm -hmm. So if you want to be an illustrator and make a children's book, or if you want to write a book that's going to live in someone's home, you have to think about how it all comes together. Right. How do I see what I produce as part of how people live? Why am I doing this, right? Mm -hmm. So again, when we look at all of these elements, they really speak to making sure that every single element precisely meets someone's need. Right. One of the things I want to point out is elements like this. This was 3D printed. Wow, really? Yes. That's amazing. And so were these holders. Wow. And I mentioned that we had a 3D printing maker station out in the communal area. All of the designs for that were for these implements were placed into the maker station and were designed by SCAD students with this entire concept. What does it mean nowadays if you break a hook for a picture frame? Right now, you have to get in your car, you have to go to Home Depot, yeah. you have to buy 50 hooks to get the one hook that you need. What does it really mean when we now have 3D printing capabilities so that I can just simply push a button from where I live and go out to a communal 3D maker station mm -hmm. and be able to fix and repair things on the fly. Right. Really, what the students were interested in doing is changing and rethinking how they live, what are the objects that they live with, and as you look around, every single detail speaks to a different way of living and thinking about objects that you have right. in your life. I want to talk about a couple elements in here that I think are great for space saving. For instance, we have the, um, we have the dish rack here that hangs over you know, your area here so you can cook, you can have your dishes go into the piece here. I think that's really great, especially if you have a tiny house on the move, your dishes will not be moving around. They can slide on these little sliders, as I can see here, so you can really reposition things depending on what you like. I love these pockets in the walls over here. A little book here, I mean, it's just adorable. Storage steps. Now, in a dorm room, this would be an extravagant closet. I have lived in a dorm room. I'm telling you, these scad pads are much better. So this is an extravagancy here. And you get your stairs up to your loft. This, this um, particular one has a loft, whereas the other one doesn't. I think that might be because over in Europe, you see a lot more lofts than you do in, in North America. So the next thing that I want to talk about is the fact that you don't have to give up any of your technology or lifestyle either. This is an interactive mirror. Mm -hmm. So. Currently, there's no one living here, but you can program it so that you wake up in the morning and your email can be sent to the mirror. You can obviously push a button and turn it back into being a mirror, or you can have other things show up, uh, weather, whatever you need. We actually even created an interactive game that if you want, you can turn it on so that kids can learn how to wash their hands correctly. <laughs> okay, okay. And so you, uh, there's a sensor, and then the longer you wash your hands, the more points you can get, etc. Oh. There are other things that are important to point out. For example, the windows. So right now, of course, you can see out on the beautiful view, but in general, you don't want that all the time. So with a touch of a button, I should be able to... Oh, yeah, I see it frosting over. Frost them over. That, this for is the privacy. future. This is the future. <laughs> really, who needs curtains in this day and age? And, and uh, now they're back open. Oh, yeah, there they are. 
So this is a wet bath. I think everything in here can get wet. And I, I do love the more modern looking um, shower head you have there. And these all have flush toilets um, and small bathroom sinks, I believe. So everything is really well put together and really well thought out.